They say education lasts a lifetime. Well, here at St. Mary's, it starts early with its newly formed preschool that offers a fun, faith-filled environment. But school does go from finger painting through to philosophy, and the campus quadrangle of Elms College was proof of that continuous Catholic education last Sunday as 255 undergraduates and 97 graduate students received degrees during the annual commencement exercises. Julie Bollier says it is the largest group of graduates in the history of the college, which was founded by the Sisters of St. Joseph in 1928. Caps, gowns, hoods, and tassels are adjusted just right. Some even check the program, just to be sure that they made the cut. I really feel like it was fate that brought me to Elms. These students are lining up for their last walk out onto Keating Square as students, for they will soon be graduates and part of the largest class to leave Elms College in the 79th commencement exercise today. 255 undergraduate candidates, 97 graduate candidates, and faculty processed onto the campus quad Sunday, May 16th. It is the largest group of graduates in the history of Our Lady of the Elms College, founded by the Sisters of St. Joseph in 1928. Leading this noteworthy class is valedictorian Lauren Sparks, who will be heading to Yale in the fall for graduate studies in world Christianity and missions. While at the Elms, Lauren participated in various social justice activities, including trips to West Virginia, Honduras, and Jamaica. Today, we graduate. The end of this experience is the gateway into a world that we have learned to respect and appreciate during our time here. Giving the commencement address was Richard Yanikowski, President and CEO of the Association of Catholic Colleges and Universities. He was also awarded a Doctorate of Humane Letters. Deborah Ann Kolnicki. Meg Donnelly won the Sister Mary Fenton Award, the Sister Marguerite Pelletier Award, and the Dorothy Fitzgibbon Award. I won um, a couple awards for, um, I won one for the humanities and um, just for the general studies of the humanities and the appreciation of it. Um, another for poetry writing and um, another for Spanish, my Spanish studies. So um, it's been good. It's been a really, really great ride and um, I've grown passions that I never normally would have grown had I not been here. It was an amazing, amazing honor. I, I love doing service and it's something that I was very, very proud to have and re receive. I want to become a nurse practitioner. Getting a professional job utilizing his or her degree is top priority for each graduate. Economics major Haley Harrington has already jumped that hurdle and starts her first real job in nine days. I went through a series of interviews in Texas and then um, a week later I was asked to be a financial analyst for Dell's corporation. So I was very excited about it and accepted the position. Uh, working with uh, detention center kids and detention center home with youth. So I enjoy working with kids and that's my future goal. Any way I can help them to better out in the future. It was an emotional day for all graduates and also for Elms president Sister Mary Reap after completing her first year at a new college. Well, it's a little bit of a mixed feeling, I think, right now. Of course, I'm glad that the year is over on the one hand, but on the other hand, this was my first class, and they've been a wonderful class. They were very welcoming to me, made me feel very much at home here at the college, and so I hate to see them go. I feel like I just got to know them. Other award recipients were 1966 Elms graduate Mary Ellen Hogan, who received the Distinguished Alumni Award, and Lois Bolin Quinn, class of 46, who received the Via Veritas Award. Best wishes to the class of 2010. Reporting in Chicopee, I'm Julie Bollier for Real to Real. Congratulations to the entire 2010 class at Elms. By the way, Julie tells us it won't be long before next year's freshmen make their way onto the campus. The first session of orientation is scheduled for June 18th.